Hi, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. I'm Lisa Michelle. Now today's reading is a timeless pick a card reading. And what I mean by timeless is that it doesn't matter if you find this video today when I upload it, a week from now, a month from now, a year from now, whatever. It really doesn't matter because it's timeless. So if there's a message in these cards for you, that's why you're here. So if you're new to pick a card reading, I'm just going to explain that process to you next. Uh, if you're not new, then you know the score. You just go to the, the timestamp of the uh, group of cards that you want to um, have read to you. So just to talk you through them, we've got group one, two, three, and four. So for you experienced pick a card readers, um, jump on in. The timestamp's below in my comments box. Pick the group that you want to listen to now. Okay, and for the newbies to pick a card reading, just to explain, there are four decks. Oops, sorry, just hit my camera. There are four decks. We've got group one, two, three, and four. So what you need to do is concentrate on the groups of cards. Get a feel for which one is calling you, which one you're connecting to. Um, and then you go to the timestamp below and you click on the time of the group of cards that you feel you want read to you. So just as a reminder for you, you've got group one, two, three and four. So without further ado, let's jump on in. Hi group one, so you chose the little pink hat. Very cute indeed. Just pop that there. So the cards we've got for you is the Rooster, Call to Awakening, Grosbeak, Three of Feathers, Blue Jay, Five of Feathers, the Heron, Two of Feathers, the Loon, Four of Feathers, the Pelican, the Six of Feathers, the Stork, Ace of Feathers, and the Tiger, the Guardian of Branches. And I thought to pull two of the Spirit Animal, um, animal Oracle cards as well. And we've got the Vulture, Nothing is Wasted. And we've got the Giraffe Spirit. See the bigger picture. Okay, so we're a little bit tight for space here. So let me just do some, some moving around. Just so I can get some sense of, of your reading. Okay. Okay, so group one. Um... I really feel your pain here. I think that you've you've had to make a really difficult decision lately, recently. Um, something that was really weighing you down, something that's been really weighing down on your mind, something that you knew you had to kind of um, get information about what what the truth is in a matter in quite an underhanded way. Um, and I say that because the five is a, a card, five of feathers is a card of conflict. Um, and you can see here that, you know, the blue jay here is, he's defeated the other two birds, but it doesn't look very pleasant. And I think whatever it is that you've been going through, the decision you've had to make has caused a bit of an upheaval and there's been quite a lot of grief. Um, and as you can see in the background here, we've got a storm happening, but with every storm it, it passes, but that doesn't take away the fact that, you know, you're feeling really, really, um, defeated in, in a wrong way, I want to say. It's leaving you feel, you know, quite hurt. There's a feeling of grief and loss with the three of feathers. Um... Yeah, but as you can see, you know, the little hearts here on the on the birds, they're still intact. So with every storm, it will pass. You know, it was a difficult decision. It was a difficult 
um, thing for you to do is to have to try and win a battle that you weren't really that comfortable in in fighting in the first place if that makes sense um, but I do think you've you've you know done quite a lot of reflection <clears throat> and you've got the loon the four of feathers here and you've got here you know I think whatever it is it's happened for a reason you've got a little four leaf clover there which tells me that off the back of this difficult time you know you're going to be moving on to you know to better things you've got some good luck coming your way um, and you've got the call to awakening which is the wake up call and I think on reflection you've realised that you had to go through this kind of painful transition um, to realise that you know with the six of feathers as well that you you can move on to um, pastures new and, and move on to a, a better place than what you have been been in. So if somebody's been lying to you, if you've been deceived or <clears throat> you've been hurt by someone, you, you're moving on from it. And, you know, you've got the stalk here and the stalk brings, always brings lovely news of, of the birth of a baby. I'm not saying there's going to be a birth of a baby, but um, the stalk is is great news and you can see here he's flying through the air he's rising above everything so he's rising above all of this grief all of this hurt and here you can see the storm has passed the the sky is clear you've got clear sky uh, clear sky with lots of stars um, and then you've got the guardian of branches and you can see here with the with the tiger you know they are they are um, animals who stand up for their rights they are protectors they're strong, they're focused, and I think that through all of this, you know, you've learned how to kind of refocus and um, and and see things for as they are. Now, with the giraffe spirit, this is saying see the bigger picture. So, for me, this is saying you know you've you've done your reflection with the four of feathers. You've done your your thinking, um, and you've seen things for as they they were and realized that <clears throat> what you've gone through is for a really good reason and with a vulture spirit if you think about what a vulture does it strips off the dead meat the dead waste so nothing is wasted they you know you you had to do what you what you did to make it happen and I think you know because of what you've done you know group one you really are going to be moving on to, to to better things and you're going to be able to rise above all the the hurt and the upheaval that was caused by whatever it was that, that happened to you so it does look like you've been through a really painful time you know a real transformational time and but I, you're rising above it and you're, and you're going forward with focus and 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 strength you know which is wonderful so you know, you, you will get over this. You will realise in time that it happened for a reason and and it had to happen. Um, and when you look back, you're going to see the bigger picture. You're going to be able to see things in a more holistic, kind of re realistic uh, way, if you like. Because it's going to, it's, it's going to bring better things. It's going to bring nicer things to you in the long run. So yeah, group one, I can see you have been through a really difficult time bless you but you are getting over it you're going to rise above it and you're going to move forward with with strength um yeah and you're going to really you know move on to perhaps you'll go on a little holiday or you know you this is just saying you're going to move on from it but you definitely you know you, you've woken up to the truth of whatever this this was and and you're moving on and it's it's all for a good reason so try and see the bigger picture try and realize you know try and understand that the sometimes things have to break to 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 fix again um or if you're in a situation that really isn't good for you then you know things that that happen that are hurtful help you to move on and, and the, the store kind of brings a beautiful new beginning for you and I really do see you refocusing and, and, and seeing that and appreciating um, that, you know, these things happen for a reason. So, yeah, group one, I know you've been through a difficult time, but just just be assured that 
the storm will pass, you know, the, the pain and the hurt, the loss, the grief, it will pass and you've got beautiful new beginnings coming your way. So, yeah, that's your message, Group 1. Hi, Group 2. So you've chosen the little message in a bottle. Well, it's not a message, it's glitter in a bottle. So we're just going to pull your cards. So we've got the crab, four of shells. The crocodile and butterfly, masters of discernment. Okay. We have the, the mante, which is the six of shells. We have the snake, which is ace, ace, ace of branches. Ace. And we have the otter, the three of shells. I love that card, it's so cute. And the dolphin, love dolphins, the two of shells. Lovely cards. The lynx, which is nine of branches. And the leopard, which is the nurturer of branches. And I've also pulled two cards from the Spirit Animal Oracle uh, by Colette Baron reed And we've got the Grasshopper Spirit, Take a Leap of Faith. And the Butterfly Spirit, Transformation is Beautiful. Okay, so let's try and make some sense of this. Okay, so what's been going on with you, Group 2? So... Okay, so with the crab, this is the four of shells, um, you can see here a little crab, he needs a new coat because he's obviously outgrown his old coat as in his shell. So I feel at the moment that you're kind of in between worlds, I feel like you're you need to come out of your shell a bit more. I feel like that you're you you're doing something that you've outgrown. So whether it be in a relationship, you know, you've outgrown. Whether it be in a job role, you've outgrown. In a partnership, you've out, you've outgrown. You're out, you've outgrown something, and I think you're feeling a little bit stuck in a rut. I feel like you really need to move on from something. Um, I think you look back. Um at the past and think, oh, you know, re remember what it used to be um, and remember the fun that you used to have and how close you were. Um, but it's it's time to move on, you know, you've got the, the butterfly spirit here, which is transformation. So you, you're definitely in, in, a, in a situation now where you, you need to be kind of spreading your wings, moving on. Um, from something that's holding you back because um, <laughs> the grasshopper is saying take a leap of faith you know move on so you're stuck in this situation that you're looking back maybe with a little bit too much nostalgia maybe it's just got a little bit boring and maybe you just need some excitement in your life because with the three of shells this is coming together and, and being with family and friends and having a little bit of a, a joyful time and having some fun so I think whatever it is you need definitely need to take a leap of faith um, and get yourself out of this this situation so again you've got the crocodile and butterfly which is the master of, masters of discernment so this is the you know you've got here the butterfly the butterfly which is a transformation transformation with the with the butterfly here as well and crocodile you know having the focus and the strength to move on you know there's a kind of a gentleness towards what you need to do to move on I think so um, I do see you know a passionate new beginning for you something that you're gonna you're gonna find that is gonna bring some excitement into your life by coming out of your sh out of your shell taking that leap of faith moving on allowing that transformation to happen and allowing yourself to have some fun with whatever it is that's going on with you um, so the nine of branches is, you know, there's a lot of passion, um, a lot of energy needed to, to have this transformation to happen. And I think when you let go, when you let it happen, 
you know you're going to really really um be in a position with the leopard you've got the nurture of branches which is the the, the queen of wands traditionally so this is going to really give you the spirit the um the drive the determination the um the spirit the fight to do whatever it is you need to do so if you are a group two stuck in a situation take a leap of faith you know you've got some transformation to do go and have some fun you could be meeting somebody new you could be changing a job role you could be stuck in a in a friendship that really doesn't suit you you've outgrown your friends maybe but you really need to kind of you know move on you know move on with um spirit drive and determination and when you do it's going to be it's going to be wonderful you're going to really come into your own and you're going to really you know feel comfortable in your own skin so yeah go for it group two you've got quite a lot of work to do you know transform yourself you know do what you've got to do to make you happy and that's all i can say really that's your message group two hi group three so you've chosen the little pink dragonfly so here are your cards so you have the jellyfish five of shells you have the rat the four of fossils you have the goat the shadow god of liberation you have the horse spirit of freedom the cat, knower of secrets, wolf, nine of fossils, oh. prairie dog, three of fossils, and the bear, guardian of fossils, and your spirit, animal, oracle cards are elephant spirit, learn from the past, and groundhog spirit, time to let go. Okay, so group three. Straight away, I can see here. Ah, group three. So you're holding on to something. You're um, finding it really difficult to let go of something that's hurt you in the past, whether it be your recent past or whether it be something that's a long time ago. But you're really holding on to that resentment um, and that hurt and that guilt and you really 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 need to move on because I think sometimes you get a little bit obsessive about what happened in the past and as a result of that you're really struggling to move on but I do feel you know that um, with the elephant spirit, you, you've learned quite a lot from what you've experienced in the past. And I do think sometimes you find it a, a mental and emotional challenge um, to move on because you keep your, your heart and your mind keep to and fro in between the now and then. But you really need to let go. It's time to let go of whatever it is that's happened to you in the past because the groundhog spirit here, you can see it's time to let go. He's holding on to his little heart. So your heart is still intact. But I do think that whatever it is you're, you're holding on to, you really, really, really need to let go and just and take it as a lesson learned from the, on the, from the past. Albeit it may be a really difficult, hard lesson that you've had to endure. But I do see, you know, that um, you, you've taken some time out. You know in, in your heart, in your gut in your intuition that you know that you have to move on from it and you, you need to stop holding on to it um, and let it go um, you know if, if you want to connect with some other people who've been through the same thing as you um, turn to people who can help you perhaps get some professional help or work together with people who you can work together with to to you know help you through this difficult time because it is time to let go and I think you definitely need to just put it down now to experience move on because you're in a position where you can 
manifest some lovely things to happen. Manifestation is is key for you here to dig into your intuition, to uh, connect and communicate with other people who can help you to to get over this and and really move forward. You know, look at the determination and focus in the wolf's face here. You know, he's he's looking forward. He's looking positive. He's almost got a little smile on his face as well. And with a the raven there as well, you've got in this deck, the raven is the magician, which is the card of manifestation. So you're in a strong position to once you've let go of whatever it is that's happened to you that you're holding on to and you're obsessing about, you're going to be in a position to go forward with, with you know, real strength and a, a real change of, of mindset. But I do think that you need to connect with some other people who've been through what you've been through you know I think sometimes you just need to have that reassurance that that comfort that you're not on your own that it, it's not something that was just in your head that it's something that you've you've kind of held on to for so long but it is it's it's time to let go you know it's time time to move on let go of the past move on be around people who care allow yourself to be cared for you know maybe you've withdrawn and um you know you've not allowed people to come in and help you but let them in you know it, it's time to let go of the past let people in and you know focus on on a positive future for yourself because it is there for you it, you know it is there for you but you the message here is definitely to it's time to let go, move on. Okay, group three, so um, I wish you all the best with your, with your healing. And if you... Hi, group four, so you've chosen the rose quartz crystal necklace. And your cards are the camel, seeker of branches, the sea lion, seven of shells, the hippo, Ten of Shells, the Honeybee, Heart Awakener, Peacock, the Illuminator, Elephant, Bearer of Justice, the Salmon, Nine of Shells, and the Magpie, Seven of Feathers. And your spirit anim animal oracle cards are the bee spirit, sweet results await, the squirrel spirit, believe in yourself, and the skunk spirit, know your worth. Okay, so every other group only had two oracle cards, but three jumped out for your reading group four, so there's an extra message in here for you. So let's have a little look to see what, what's going on. So the first card that stands out to me here is the Seven of Feathers. Now, this is a card of deceit. So something has happened to you that has been very deceitful. Somebody has done something really underhanded to you. However, with the elephant, the bearer of justice, whatever this, this situation or this person has done to deceive you, justice will be served and sweet sweet results await so they're not going to get away with it whatever this person or, or situation is justice will be served and there's going to be a positive outcome so let's have a look what else is going on with you and how we're going to get you there so i do see there's this hope definite hope in in the situation you've got the the peacock here which is the illuminator so you've got the bright um, stars in the sky, you've got the little starfish there and this traditionally is the star um, in, the tarot, in the tarot deck and the star is a, is a, um, a card of, of healing, of hope so there's definitely um, you know, a positive outcome from, from this deceitful situation or this deceitful person that you've had in your life um, and I think they've really made you doubt yourself and really made you um, underestimate your own your, your self-worth. Um, and that's really sad when somebody makes you feel like that. But 
but you know this message message says believe in yourself you know believe that you you have the the worth and don't let them make you feel any different, okay? You're a beautiful person, know your worth, and believe in yourself. Those are really important messages there for you. Now, the situation that you, you've been through, it, it does it does need a lot of commitment. So if you look um, at the salmon and you think of a salmon and what a salmon has to go through to swim up river, regardless of the, the strength, um, an intensity of the current, they can swim up river to lay their eggs to hatch their babies. So, and there's a, you know the determination, the courage, and strength that they have to do that. This card is telling me that you have got the the courage, and you do believe in yourself enough to um, to get these sweet results that that definitely await you through putting your heart into it, your heart and soul and your commitment into driving the situation forward to remember who you are, know your worth, there's hope, there's healing, justice will be served by this conniving, deceitful, uh, situational person. Now, I do feel like, you know, when, the, when you get your sweet results with the ten of um, shells, this is everything in abundance, you're going to feel in a very happy state, I feel like, with the seven of shells as well. There's like a dreamy feel to it, um, and it's going to open lots of new opportunities for you. And you're just going to be in a really, really, really strong, strong position. It, it's not going to happen quickly, it's not going to happen overnight. You know, it's going to require um, some, you know, serious determination and commitment. Um... And they say, you know, baby steps, small steps, one step at a time, and and it will, it will achieve you these these wonderful outcomes. You know, you've got sweet results awaiting you. So so stay positive, stay stay strong, believe in yourself, remember who you are, know your worth, remember where you've come from, because sweet results await you. So whatever it is that you've had going on, just keep positive keep momentum, keep fighting, um, and just remember, you know, step by step, it will result in these beautiful outcomes, because justice will be served, okay, so these two cards together as an outcome, justice will be served, and sweet results await, stay strong, stay positive, group four, so um, that's the message for you, stay strong, stay positive, and await these sweet results.